Rhino, known as Baraka. The, cons the mammo lost his eyesight 12 years ago, and the Conservancy rescued him by isolating him from the rest of the rhinos. Conservation efforts at the Conservancy are not only focused on the able bodied uh, animals, but also those living with deformities. Our reporter Mwangi Maina spent some time with the black, blind rhino and files the following report. Come on. Go the boy. Go the boy, Baraka. Baraka, a Swahili word meaning blessing, was a name given to this humongous and majestic mammal when he was born 26 years ago at the Old Pajeta Conservancy in Laikipia County. What a boy. He was the first rhino to be born at the Conservancy. Baraka lives alone in a solitary confinement of 140 acres of wilderness. Baraka is not allowed to interact with fellow rhinos. He doesn't have an idea of how his fellow species look like. Baraka is blind. He lost his eyesight 12 years ago when he was barely 14 years old. <laughs> Akapigana <laughs> ya kuweza kuishi na wale kifaru wengi zake kijakani sababu kifaru weuzi ni kifaru wanapenda maisha ya upekee hawataki kuchanganyika na wengine Baraka was separated from the rest of the rhinos herd in the world and taken into a cage before he was released again into the world, albeit to stay alone, but assigned a dedicated caregiver who became his closest friend. Robert Morara is probably the longest serving ranger and a tour guide at the Old Pejeta Conservancy. His service spanning 24 years at this conservancy. Alikuwa ajielewe ya kwamba anaitwa Baraka. Hakuwa najua jina yaka anaitwa Baraka lakini baada ya ukakana na mwanadamu karibu zaidi ya miezi sita akajielewa ya kwamba yeye ndiye anaitwa Baraka. Baada ya kujielewa anaitwa Baraka tukaona tukaonelea ya kwamba zio mzuri aendelee kukaa kwa kechi. Akaajiriwa eneo ile inastairi ambayo ni hiyo ekari 140 ambayo anatembea sasa anaweza kuwa na uwezo ya kutembea kukura na akiweza kuangalia maeneo yake kama kumak ana maki mzuri akiwa na uhuru ya kutoza by the time he was engaging in a mad world fight baraka was at the peak of his mating game his caregiver without an iota of doubt believes that baraka must have mated and sired himself offsprings in the world mangaliweza kusaliza akiwa pale changwani sababu ikifalu weuzi ama ke, wanakuwa na uwezo ya kuanza kupata watu, ku, kupa, kuwa na, kupata chike akiwa kati ya miaka tisa kuendelea na mbele chike yao wanaanza kuwa na umri ya kufikiria kupata watoto akiwa kati ya miaka sita na kuenda juu kwa hivyo kuna uwezo ya kwamba wakati alikuwa pale changwani aliwezekana kuwa papa ya mtoto fulani ama ya kifalu aliyenyalisaliwa pale changwani Morara says it took Baraka about six months to adapt staying in a solitary confinement, away from the world, being taken care of by a human being. His diet had to change to specialized fodder and food supplements before he could be released to his own world. Ukifaru ukimuambia na elewa kiswahiri mzuri. Ukimuita ni ya kwamba yae ni mwelevu, anasikia sauti ya wale watu ambayo wote wamekaa karibu na yae. Kwa hivyo nikimuambia tuende, anaelewa ni kuanza safari. Ukimwambia kucha akiwa hata kwa umbali wakati nimemuita anasikiliza kuanza akisikia sauti anakucha pole pole. Kwa yule mtu ambaye aelewani na yeye akimwambia tuende ataweza kwenda. Atasimama tu area hiyo mpaka ama saa zingine sababu mnyama ni mnyama ataweza kuwa saa zingine na uwezo ya kufikiria labda kumpendukia. Baraka, come on. Kuja. Baraka. Come come come. Baraka. Come on.
Baraka's caregiver says his life changed a big deal, but not for the worse. He opines that eyesight is not the greatest asset to a rhino. It was not all lost for Baraka. Naturally, rhinos have a powerful sense of smell and hearing, and as such, it is easier for Baraka to know when he is in danger or if he wanders off into uncharted territories. <laughs> ya kwamba wewe uwezi kusikia ile umbali na za sikia hiyo adui Concerning his body of bruises and wounds, his caregiver says it is normal for rhinos to have wounds and bruises due to their nature of rubbing their skin against hard surfaces. Internal warmth lead the rhinos to scrub themselves against these surfaces, which in turn is a blessing in disguise. Morara says the oak pecker bird feed on the worms after being exposed nearer the rhino's skin. In return, the birds protect the rhinos by alerting them of any impending danger. Oxpeka wanasaidia kwa kungoa ile worms. Baada ya kungoa hiyo worms, baada ya pia wana wanapeana ulinzi kwa hii kifaru akiwa narara. Iwe ni baraka, iwe ni kifaru wale wa jangwani wanapewa ulinzi. Wakiona mwanadamu akipitia hapo karibu, hiyo kifaru anatoa sauti na hii sauti akitoa kifaru mwenyewe ama mnyama mwingine ako pale jangwani anasikia hiyo sauti ni ya mwanadamu wakati huu ndega ametoa hivi sababu ndio askari yangu ya karibu lazima kuna mwanadamu kifaru akisikia anaamuka vile anaendelea kupiga kerere saidi saidi na aweze kutambuka toka hapo kwa kifaru kifaru anaelewa huyo mwanadamu amekaribia lakini kama atapiga kerere kidogo na kunyamaza anajua hii adui alikuwa anapitia na ame, ameenda Separated from the rest in the world and not fighting for food and space, Morara alludes that the life expectancy of Baraka is actually high. Though blind, he says the majestic black rhino can clock up to 40 years against 30 years, the normal life expectancy of a rhino. We carrots and carrots ni njia moja ya kuweza ku fraise eh ndio wakati unamuita kama ako mbali anajua ya kwamba naenda kupewa kasi nake kidogo they say disability is not inability and even when it comes to animals and especially wildlife disability is not inability this blind rhino here by the name baraka has been a blessing not only to this conservancy but to the whole world tourists coming from different parts of the world to see this animal thereby earning the country for an exchange emphasizing the need to protect our wildlife irrespective of their physical disability muangi maina tv 47 from all pejeta conservancy in laikipia county